I have social anxiety, plus I'm being bullied at school all the time. I don't think I can overcome it. They will always see me as a piece of trash and an ugly Muslim immigrant hijabi girl. I can't change anything. I will always be laughed at. That's a message that I got on my channel. And if that's you, this is message for you. First of all, I want to say I'm sorry that that's happening. That sounds like a very difficult situation to be in. And I want to share a few things that might be helpful. First of all, it is possible that people indeed think that. Undeniable. Um, there's a lot of challenging people in the world, but they might there might not be as many challenging people in the world as you might imagine. Because what we can do in our minds is when there are 1% or 2% of people that are that way, our mind can start to generalize and see everyone in that way. So it's possible that these people exist. And it's also possible that it's just a small percentage. Now, it's making a lot of sense that that creates a lot of upset in you. Shame, humiliation, insecurity, upset, frustration, anger, hurt, pain, wanting to revenge, perhaps, um, all sorts of feelings. Perhaps it's triggering all sorts of beliefs, like I'm different, I'm weird, I don't fit in, they don't want me, people don't like me, people are out to get me. And all of that, as a result of the bullying, is what you now walk around with in the world and you're looking at other people that are actually perfectly nice and friendly and your brain is starting to see these nice and friendly people in the same way. Now, it is understandable that you're thinking, I can't change, I'm in the middle of it. This is how it is for me, it's impossible to change. However, other people have been in that situation, other people have changed as well. There's a video on my channel of a bullying victim who recovered from that and um, it's a very inspiring interview i'll link to it under this video what i want to say is that the feelings that you're having as a result of what is happening are things that were in, inside of your control in other words you can be in the comfort of your own home and you can alter your thinking and you can apply techniques in order to release those feelings. You can find help of a counselor to help you in dealing with this difficult situation, both in altering how you feel, shifting your perspective and finding ways, strategies to deal with the bullying. One way that worked for me though it may not have been as uh, excessive as what you're experiencing. But for me, I was teased about having big ears and I would blush at the, uh, whenever there was a mention of my ears or when their attractiveness or whenever um, someone would point at me or, you know, I would blush at the drop of a hat. And often um, because I was so reactive to it, um, whenever they would talk about my ears, um, I would blush or you know they would call me dumbo or you know all of, all of these things and i had a really strong emotional reaction to it eventually it got so bad that i um went to see my doctor and i asked if i could get my ears fixed with a plastic surgeon and i actually went so far to go with my mom talk to a plastic surgeon had my ears measured and yeah they were slightly out of range and they could do an operation and because i had so much trauma in my past and because i was suffering from this so much the insurance was even going to cover it then when i went back to my uh friends that were teasing me and they teased me and they're like uh you know you know dumbo or whatever they said and it made fun of me i said yeah say whatever you want but in a couple of weeks from now i'm gonna get my ears fixed and then there's nothing you can say anymore and then they laughed and said then we're gonna call you barbie right <laughs> which isn't exactly what i was hoping for but it shifted something in my mind it made me think ah actually it's not about my ears it's about the fact that i'm having a reaction to it then I also had a conversation with a guy a couple of years older than me, Serge is his name, 
and he talked to me and he said, you know, they're just trying to get a rise out of you. They used to tease him for having his ears being his ears were kind of like this for having his ears too close to his uh, head and so because I kind of saw this guy as a, a bit of an authority um, I looked up to him I trusted what he said so those two experiences made me for whatever reason not bothered anymore I had like a cognitive shift and now as a result I wasn't reactive to teasing and bullying anymore and then the next times that it happened you know, they would uh, mock me for my ears and I wouldn't react to it and just look at them like, you know, they were stupid. And that didn't get a laugh anymore. And that stopped it. So it is possible for that to happen. It's also possible that some people will keep being mean. However, that's not within your control. And when you start to change things on the inside, when you build up your resilience, when you start feeling different, when you start feeling worthy about yourself, people will start to treat you differently and you will start to go in different directions. You'll start to avoid these people, not take them seriously. And you go towards people where you are valued, you go where you're appreciated most. When you feel worthy, that's the direction that you'll go. But it's likely that you already have underlying feelings of not being worthy or that there's something wrong with you or that you're not good enough or that you're not okay the way that you are. And these things need to be addressed. And that's what you can do. So it is possible to change even if it doesn't feel like it's possible to change. When it doesn't feel like it's possible, that's an actual feeling. And that is a tappable target. So if you're not familiar with this technique, if you're new to the channel, there's a technique called EFT, stands for Emotional Freedom Techniques. And with that technique, you stimulate certain acupressure points on your body while you're tuning into the feelings and the thoughts that make you feel bad. As you do the tapping, Believe it or not, it's got 125 scientific studies by now. I used to say 102, it's 125 by now. Scientific studies backing up its effectiveness published in peer-reviewed prestigious journals. And it's really amazing. And what that tapping does is it reduces the production of cortisol, the stress hormone, and it increases your serotonin levels and these biochemical responses create a sense of calm. So you think about the bullies and that triggers feelings within you, you know, shame, anger, hate, whatever. And as you do the tapping, slowly but surely, all those feelings begin to calm down and release. Same thing with the underlying feelings of I'm not worthy, there's something wrong with me. You tune into that and the reasons for why those are there. And as you do the tapping, that begins to release slowly but surely until it doesn't bother you anymore. It doesn't happen overnight, but when you apply that technique over a period of time, those problems become smaller and smaller and smaller. You become more and more empowered and more and more at ease being your true self. And then things in the outside world will begin to shift and change. Hope this is helpful. This is Sebastian from SocialAnxietySolutions.com. Bye for now.